it's been a few days since my last video. Um, I appreciate some of the support I've gotten on that video. Um, my review of Greenfields by Barry Gibb. So I appreciate everybody for watching that. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Glenn Kellaway up in Canada who uh, gave me a shout out on one of his recent videos. Um, I appreciate the support that he gives as well as others. Um, you know, I have um, a couple others that, that really um, put my name out there to, to push for subscribers. So um, I appreciate everybody that watches. Um, but I want to thank Glenn in particular. Um, I'll dedicate this video to him. Um, this is a, uh, not really an unboxing video, but it's going to be kind of a first time reveal video. Um, I've already opened the package that I received and I'm going to do a, um, a full video dedicated to this band um, in the near future. They're one of my favorites. Um, if you like Tom Petty, um, I don't know, outlaw kind of country, but you like um, some jangle pop. Um, and then just some driving rock and roll. Um, they're called the Wild Feathers, and they just, like, they're one of those groups where they haven't hit anything really wrong. Um, they have three studio albums, which I'll talk about in another video. This particular piece that I bought, um, I was on the fence about buying, but um, it's a record that just came out just on vinyl. It's a vinyl only limited time release. Um, it's called Medium Rarities, and this particular piece was signed uh, by the band, so this was really cool for me to get as a fan. Um, this is the package that it came in. A lot of you all are probably familiar with the uh, Magnolia Record Club. They sell um, special limited edition records and things like that, um, some, some merch. Um, the inside packaging they say this way to the good stuff share your spin with us um, you can hashtag and do that sort of things so that I don't get into um, like I said I opened this I got I got this package yesterday which would have been um, February the 16th and I'm filming this on the 17th um, and I haven't opened the actual record yet um, and I'm excited to see what it looks like and you'll see why here in just a second but here's the cover. It's, like I said, it's called Medium Rarities. And you can see there's all the signatures. Oops. There's one right there. And then the top corner there. Now these guys, like I said, they're big um, Tom Petty fans. Um, and just rock and roll. And this, this particular album um, is a mix of some covers as well as um, some deep cuts that they had that were never released. And you can see they do a version of Almost Cut My Hair that David Crosby wrote. Um, and then After the Bottle's Gone, it's a great country song. But anyway, um, I might talk about a review later. But I'm going to go ahead and open this. And I don't want to mess up the signatures because they're all done with Sharpie. And I already know this is going to be cool. I'm going to keep that. So there it is outside of the plastic wrap. And let's just jump right in. And don't you like that title too? Medium Rarities. So it's just a collection of stuff that they've recorded and never released it. Oh, this is going to be cool. Alright, so there's the, the label personal label the wild feathers and it's the same on the on the B side but um, another reason I got it was because of the colored vinyl and I'm not a big vinyl collector um, but I love the wild feathers and I had to get this so you can see how cool that is that's just that's beautiful just a deep, deep blue color there. It's, it's not coming across that well, but um, no, I'm excited to spin this. Um, and like I said, I will, um, I will likely give a review 
when I get to spin that um, in my house, I'm not able to to just pull out the record player all the time. Um, I live, you know, with family members and you know records you want to kind of enjoy in one setting. You can't just stop it. But um, this was released. Excuse me. This was um, produced by uh, Dave Cobb, who um, I just mentioned in my uh, Barry Gibb video that he uh, produced that album as well, um, as well as Chris Stapleton. But anyway, um, I recommend checking out the Wild Feathers. Um, you know, technically, I can't I can't recommend this album yet because I haven't heard it. Um, just one single when it first came out back in like November of 2020. But um, check out the Wild Feathers. I mean, they're just, you know, they just kill it, everything that they do. So uh, thank you for watching. And uh, let me know if you know the Wild Feathers or um, have a favorite song by them. So take care.